Hey everyone, I wanted to make a video talking about uh, Wayne Krantz's new book, An Improviser's OS, version 2. But I thought I'd start with contextualizing things from a personal standpoint. Uh, Wayne has had a very important role in my life as a musician and as a person. Um, it's been pretty significant, his um, guidance and inspiration and knowledge that he's imparted. Um, on me. And so, um, the first time I heard Wayne Krantz's music, I was a teenager uh, taking lessons at a music store, and um, the owner of the store was playing his record called Two Drink Minimum, and it just seemed so advanced and interesting, and I ended up checking out um, his record called Greenwich Mean as well, and listened to that a bunch. Um, and then when I went to Berkeley College of Music, um, for the short period of time that he was there, I was able to study with him. So I studied, I took a class with him, and then a semester after that, I ended up uh, studying with him privately. And his approach is, at least in our lessons, was very much about trying to help um, me become the artist that I could potentially become. And um, and at the same time, I was also studying bebop. I was trying to get that kind of language happening on on my instrument. And um, so from there, um, I kind of put his approach to uh, practicing aside. And then about, let's see, I was 27 when I started to um, take his approach more seriously. And that's when I started getting heavily into his first book. And as you can see, it's, I don't know, it's, um, you know, the pages are, are ripped apart and um, it's got all these formulas in them, tonalities. And I delved deeply into this book and it's been um, something I've been practicing out of for the last 10 years every day and um, I've explored all 2048 tonalities that are in the book and I'm almost uh, in all 12 keys and every position on the guitar and I'm almost done with exploring all 2048 twice so that that gives you an idea of how much I value this book and uh, I went to New York City after a year of diving deep into this. Um, I went to New York City to study with Wayne for a week. And um, uh, basically just kind of got deeper into it and um, got his feedback about what I was doing as a, a practitioner and as an artist and had him listen to a demo that I had put together with um, this drummer I was playing with. And um, uh, Wayne's record, um, Your Basic Live 06, the last, which this, by the way, is my favorite um, Wayne Krantz record. Um, I like all of his records, but this is probably my favorite one, if I had to pick one. Uh, it's, it's basically uh, taken from the 55 bar live tracks uh, from the 55 bar with different musicians on it uh, that he's played with for years. And um, the last track on this record, he plays duo. And that inspired me to put together um, just a duo situation with a drummer. So I was doing that for a while. In fact, I did that for like three or, f like three or four years uh, with different drummers. Um, and I focused on that and took my demo to Wayne and had him listen to it and he gave me some helpful um, feedback about it. So after uh, coming back to Sacramento, uh, I spent about a year uh, working on developing the duo and I ended up, ended up putting this record together called Rehearsals and it's guitar and um, drums. And um, on the inside, I give Wayne a special thanks and because um, he was very, very helpful in 
you know, just basically supporting what I was doing. And, um, you know, I got a lot of negative feedback from, from people about, or not, not a lot, but a few musicians sort of critiqued what I was doing and basically said that, you know, one person said the notes that you play don't really matter much without a bass player. So whatever, um, Wayne was just helpful in helping me to kind of have the conviction to, to do a guitar and drum duo. And so anyways, I went to New York City again um, and had him listen to this record. Um, and it was kind of a big moment for me. He said it sounded great, uh, but also had some suggestions about how to make it better. Because uh, as musicians and artists, we're always trying to move forward and try to get better. So. Um, so that was really helpful, and um, and then since then I've studied with him on and off. I've gone to the Bay Area a couple times to take private lessons with him, and um, it was kind of a big moment for me um, a couple years ago. Um, had him listen to what I've been doing as an artist, and he said he loved what I was doing, and that was pretty significant for me um, to get his feedback about what I was doing. And um, so, yeah, I mean, basically, his first book has helped me to become um, a better improviser. I, I can honestly say that um, I would not be the musician and the guitar player I am today without his guidance. And, um, you know, one of the things that this book has allowed me to be able to do, among numerous other things, is... I can, I feel like I can sit down with the instrument, pick any tonality and be anywhere on the instrument and be able to generate music with that tonality. So, um, so that's pretty significant to be able to be anywhere on your instrument and pick any key, any tonality and be able to generate music from that spontaneously. Um, so this book, his latest version um, is basically a lot of the same information that's in the first book um, with uh, some additional um, ideas and thoughts and perspectives about being a musician and an artist and how to uh, become a better improviser. Um, and so he lists, like I already pointed out in the first book, um, he lists all the possible uh, tonalities that exist in the chromatic scale. And the Western 12 note chromatic scale. So there's 2048 possible tonalities, everything from the one note scale or tonality to the 12 note chromatic scale. And you know, there's basically, I don't even know how many there are of each uh, group, but there's something like 400. Um, eight note tonalities and um, I don't know 500 seven, seven note tonalities I'm not even sure how many there are of each one but but there's a lot and um, in the book he basically um, gives you some uh, helpful ways to practice this stuff and you work on a specific tonality in a specific key with the idea of becoming better at time, your sense of rhythm, phrasing, articulation, the list goes on and on. And so, um, let me see here. Yeah, so after each of the tonalities are listed uh, in the book, he starts to explain what all this information is, how to go about it, how to practice it, um, what to think about when practicing. Uh, and he makes a very clear distinction between uh, compositional playing and improvisational playing. And the focus of this book is improvisational. And it's divorced from idiom and style and lick playing. It's all about how to take raw information and make music from it in a spontaneous way. And at the back of the book, I wanted to um, share this um, sentence with you guys. Uh, the question is posed, what's so great about improvisation? And he says, composition is an opportunity to play something 
that you know sounds good, improvisation is an opportunity to play something that sounds better than what you know. And I think that's a nice way of making uh, the case that improvisation is worth our time to uh, explore and to get better at doing. Um, so I highly recommend the book. It's available at his um, or on his website, WayneKrantz.com. It's through Abstract Logic, um, the record company he's uh, signed to uh, or that he's a part of. And um, it means a lot. He gave me a credit in the book. Um, and that was very, very nice of him. It means, like I said, it means a lot. Um, and I hope you guys check it out. I'm actually going to, um, at some point, make some videos about how I practice this stuff. I have a few perspectives about it that are a little different than his approach um, that I thought might be kind of cool to share. Uh, just kind of how I go about practicing this stuff now and how I think about it and stuff. But um, very worthwhile to get this. Um, it is, I think, brilliant. And I think it's a significant contribution to music education and obviously in particular improvisation. There's not really a lot of information or a lot of books uh, out there addressing improvisation in a very kind of clean way. Most of the books on improvisation are um, in the context of jazz and um, or with any kind of particular style. So this is very much just a clean way of approaching improvising uh, and in a way that can potentially help you to become a more personal or have a personal expression with uh, tonalities and with music in general. All right, guys, I hope you found um, this helpful to um, potentially inspire you to, to get the book. Um, it's only like 25 bucks plus shipping, so it's pretty cheap considering the amount of information you get. And it's a lifelong study. I continue to practice this stuff every day, and I'm very thankful to Wayne for sharing uh, his knowledge with the world. All right, guys, I'll talk to you um, in a video to come. Thanks.